Hello, hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benny Dumbai Anna. Today we have a very special video for all of you. We are in Altea and we will show you how exactly can you get towards Altea old town and see all the loveliest typical tiny streets of this village if you're going to be coming here by train or by bus. So let's go and explore. First of all, let's see the train, which is called Tramvia here. This is the stop. As you can see, there are some people already right there. You'll be arriving towards this stop if you go from Albir, from Alfaz, Benidorm, Villajoyosa or Alicante. Just take this main stop in Altea and follow towards this loveliest square right here, by which you will be able to get towards the amazing old town of Altea on top of this hill which is where we're going right now if you're coming by bus there is also basically the same option right here near us there is the national road N332 which is this road right here this is where the bus number 10 actually runs and the bus stop is just right here nearby towards our left or right side you will be going out on this side just cross it and you will be basically at the same place where we are right now i'm gonna be putting it on 0.5 so that you would be able to see way more things out here while we explore here you have one of the typical traditional machines that were used for the old railways. It's not used any longer. It's just displayed as a part of a history, let's call it like this, of Altea. By the way, if you're coming with a car, there's also an option to park right here. There is a free of charge parking right behind this station. It's called Parking La Estación. Oh, look at this, bus number 10. This one is going back to Benidorm. So down here, right near this lovely turnable, how you call it, railway to store the trains, which is what they used to do before, not any longer, obviously, but this is what they used to do before. Here we can turn towards the left. There are different parts and places and roads how you can actually get towards the old town. Oh, it's closed right now. Okay. We're going to be waiting because that means probably that the train is coming. I wonder which part it's coming from. Okay, it's right there. Look at this. There's the train. It's right there. He will be picking up the people right now and will be coming down here shortly. And this is where it will be going down the railway we can go because there's still a long way to go and down one of these tiny streets we are automatically at the old town of Altea how's that that was easy wasn't it so you don't need to go really really far away to be able to get into the old town I've never been to this area before look at this how lovely I've never been to this side as it is. We've always explored it from a different side. Look at these tiny houses. Some lovely porch where they put a lot of plants. That's gorgeous. Obviously, you need to be careful because if you go by these roads, you would need to be quite fit in a sense that you need to be used to go by stairs because look at this. This is all stairs. Ooh. I wish I would have put a voiceover of this video because it's quite hard for me to film and speak at the same time. Here we have professional school of Altea. These teeny tiny streets. But let's head slightly higher up. Look at this, the original windows, wooden windows. This is lovely. So to come here, make sure you have comfortable shoes. 
those that are not slippery and also comfortable clothing apart from that bring a water bottle Ooh. and don't go with a bag full of things just because it's gonna be quite difficult for you to walk out here look at this how lovely I love exploring these tiny streets of Altea because each house is different look at this how gorgeous typical Spanish flowers these ones I think are called Bougainvillea these ones, I was just asking my mom. These ones are called Bougainvillea. They're of different colors. But my favorite is this one. Look at how bright they're looking like. Oh, gives a special touch. Each house is different. Each house here has some specific plants. You know, something that makes it just a unique place to be. The cars, by the way, can pass here. Although the roads are quite small, just to let you know. Let's go to see what we can find out here and then we're gonna be going back. So cars are allowed to these numerous small streets, but you need to be careful because you won't be able to go back if there's gonna be two cars with you. So it's better if you park, if you have a rented car, it's better if you park somewhere down in Altea on the main street and afterwards just go walking. Look at this. The houses that are here on the top have impressive views. Oh, this is lovely. This is so nice. Look at this. The majority of some of these houses, as you can see, they're closed uh, simply because there is no one living in there, which is a true shame because this area is amazing to live. We started just right there at the bottom and we are already here at the top. Many of these houses are being on sale right now. And this is a great opportunity. Look at this, they have a small patio right there. A lot of these houses are on sale and these are amazing option for investment. Amazing option for investment. A lot of people do it, a lot of people rented for example this one here as well this is a rented property for tourism wow and people love it i mean who wouldn't love to be in such a quiet place with all these views which get even better and better while we are going up upstairs so this is an Amazing investment opportunity for all those of you who are searching for these type of properties here in the area. Look how quiet it is. This is Altea at the end of March. It's basically spring season officially. Happy spring. Look at that. Ooh. This is amazing sports. By the way, we do offer tours down these areas. This is gorgeous. Tiny streets with small patios with some chairs. Amazing. We do offer private tours for this area as well. You know that we'll be offering them for the whole entire Costa Blanca. We even have a barbecue. This is lovely. You cannot say it's not lovely. <laughs> And the terraces, look at what views these terraces have. Let me know if you wouldn't like to have a house where you could come some of the days and for the rest of the year, just rent it. Especially the one like this one has just open terrace. And by the way, look at this mirenlo.com this is their website so they are actually renting it out probably gorgeous absolutely gorgeous views i 
love it. You can sit down on many of these benches and just relax and enjoy. This is spectacular. I'm gonna leave you to it just a few moments so that you could appreciate where we are at and the silence, the silence that we have from here. This is a gorgeous place to come, gorgeous place to be, just to explore it at least a tiny bit during your holidays here. There are many stairs like this, don't be afraid, just climb them and you will be at a different part of the old town. You can explore it freely unless you're heading towards someone's home, like through the gate, then you shouldn't be doing that, but all the rest all the rest you're able to do it you're able to go down every single one of these streets to enjoy this is the oldest part of the town this is where the art galleries are located by the way this street if you were wondering it's called calle bonavista street of nice view obviously you get why right and this is where a lot of art galleries and the nicest loveliest restaurants cafeterias and bars are located this is where you can try typical traditional spanish meals uh, paella fidewa you can try a lot of seafood and much much more even typical spanish tapas you also have international restaurants um, such as italian or just fusion mediterranean type cuisine so you will find definitely anything suitable for yourself see there's a house that's been on sale right here and it's quite renewed i must say they've painted it they've put it nicely great place for for touristic property and we are already on one of the top five i would say squares here in the old town by the way, don't be surprised if you see trees like this that have fruit on them. This is something very, very typical. Look at this. These are orange trees. They're blossoming right now, blooming right now. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me zoom it in. And then there are other ones, I suppose it's a different variety that has oranges on them. I've seen a lot of people actually take down these oranges and eat them. Locals, locals don't do it because we are kind of used to it, but tourists do. Some hibiscus, these ones are called hibiscus. They're of a different colors as well. Mostly it's red, but these ones are bright orange. Don't tell me it's not an amazing place to be because it definitely is. Let's head to the viewpoint. One of the, one of the best viewpoints. From here, you can see Calpe, which is right there. I'm gonna put a button or a line just to indicate what it is. And then you have the whole entire bay. The port of Altea is right there in front of us. That's the port. I'll be right there. And you can even see some skyscrapers of Benido. There is a slight wind right now, but don't let it scare us from exploring. This is why I've said you need to be careful, by the way, these stones are kind of polished. They're extremely slippery. So you need to be careful. You need to have some nice shoes so that you wouldn't get into an accident out here because I've seen many people slip 
and fall down and I'm sure you wouldn't love to fall down these stairs. These ones right here are polished, but they are cut to be flat, so it's slightly easier. Look at this right here. Every single light is painted differently. This one, for example, is with blue colors. I've seen red, green, white, and many, many others. By the way, here you can find some history behind all this. Altea's old Renaissance quarters, which is this house right here. Look at this. By the way, this nearby, nearby here, there is a house where one of the famous history tellers and artists was writers. Cervantes, that's his house right here. He was living here for quite some time. Look at this. This is amazing. This is his house. So many stories were being written and this was the house that inspired hopefully many of them. This is probably the only parcel that's on sale as it is not a house, but a parcel on sale here in Altea's old town. Obviously, it's being used as a terrace for some restaurants right now, but people are able to buy it and then build their own home right here. Meanwhile, restaurants use it as an open air terrace with gorgeous views. Many, many lounge bars, restaurants and cafeterias are here. All these houses, they're being repainted, refurbished. So slowly but surely before the new season they're just changing everything to make it look nice and right now we are already at the top square the main square which is where the church is located and which is where the the blue roofs the blue tiles can be seen amazing gorgeous place there's a lot of tourists by the way here early in the morning it's 11 30 right now and there's already a lot of people out here many terraces are open and ready for breakfast here is where we usually have the market of handmade goodies it's not open just yet but usually it's here for around like summer season more or less and in front of us we have the wall viewpoint this is gorgeous. You have a view towards Sierra Helada, Puch Campana, and many, many more. Let's go ahead and see what the views are from here. Definitely, this is one of the famous viewpoints since it's right here on top. So many people just know it is here. And obviously, we have these stairs. The ones that we've seen to climb up here. And these are the views. Astonishing, isn't it? Our lovely Benny Dorm is right there. Definitely a place recommended for your visits while you are in Benny Dorm's area. Usually, this is also the place for street artists. There's usually in summer, there's a lot of music, a lot of singing, a lot of dancing out here. In summer, they also do um, inflatable balloons for children, which is really, really fun. And for adults, why not as well? Adults also can get them if you want to. All these tiny streets out here as well are inviting to explore so there's thousands and one possibilities to explore this road we did see these streets out here in the previous video so i'm gonna leave it for you here linked down below just in case you would like to see those and see the full full set of a tour down altea's old town some more little balconies to enjoy the views this is gorgeous and you can also enter the church 
it's free of charge obviously i'm not gonna film it inside uh, just a tiny bit just for you to see big out of respect you know but just a tiny bit we can see it go outside don't want to show it for too long you know we in any case it's a church so we need to show a little bit of respect for that a lot of these tiny streets here as well extremely popular with some best restaurants and bars that you can see for example this place right here has a lovely terrace on the top where in the evening you can hear some old town music and just enjoy it. This is restaurant El Calonje. In, in Spanish, in Norwegian, in, in French and in English you can find menus right here. There's some more restaurants behind the church and this probably is the most famous ever street with these lovely tiles. This is where the vast majority of businesses are also located. Just look at this. This is gorgeous. There's so, so much here to explore. Some businesses are still not open just yet. They'll be opening up shortly in just a couple of weeks time. The others are here already. Here, for example, they do some portraits. That's nice. Some of these restaurants, by the way, they have a terrace that goes directly towards the sea view. Which is incredible you need to pre-book it with the time this pizzeria place stromboli is one of the best pizzerias here in the old town look at this i'm going to show you the prices entrance you, you can actually pause it if you want just to check the prices out this is entry entree salads crepes uh, pastas pizzas meats fish sweet crepes and desserts here we have all the prices for this place just so that you would know how it looks like and these are the tables on the inside many shops as well they are mostly catering for a tourist you see there's someone who says Altea you know you can just buy some typical souvenirs some uh, handcrafted things as well here handmade more typical Spanish souvenirs look at this that's nice There's a nightclub here that's called Eclipse. Usually it's not open right now. Obviously it's opening up in summer season. This one right here. And one of my top favorite places out here is this one. Let me go around so I could show it to you guys just a tiny bit more. So right here at this main street, which is like the biggest street, it's called Calle Mayor. Right next to the Arc. Altea's Renaissance Quarters. Right here is where you have a loveliest square with some amazing hand painted paintings, hand painted wall. And right at this place, there is the area called El Castel, which is basically the castle. And this terrace is usually full in summer. This is one of the busiest places in summer because just look at this you're below orange trees enjoying the lovely views the fresh breeze of air on the terrace having some lovely meal what can be better than that this is how Altea's old town is looking like right now at the end of March I hope you enjoyed watching this video I wish you a lovely day and we'll see each other in a new video very very soon bye dears